I lacked is now an object of the past This jack of all trades is now a king with an ace blackjack What's going on everyone? This Simba Does Music and welcome back to Simba Does Gaming. If you guys missed the last episode, you should really go check it out. Check the playlist down below. We had a game against Minneapolis Werewolves, ended in a tie, but man, that was, uh, it was epic. It was an epic game, even if it was only 34 combined points. Quick maps. This week, we're going up against the Los Angeles Legends and I'm not gonna lie guys, I'm scared. These guys are tough. Well, you can see they're seven and one. Just look at their roster. Man. It's mostly gold players. Rod Woodson, Ronnie Lott, Barry Sanders, Mike Singletary, Jerry Rice, John Elway. Did I get that right? Yeah, John Elway, Jerry Rice. And then who else do they have? LC Greenwood, the greatest player to ever wear number 68. Randy Cross, Tony Baselli, and Dwight Clark. And I mentioned that whole thing was 68 because that was my number in high school. I'm not gonna waste a whole lot of time. Let's get right into the game. Anything like checking stats and standings and all that, we can save that for afterwards. All right, guys, so we're back with the post-game voiceover. If you don't know why I'm doing this, uh, check out the last video and I'll explain kind of why, why we're doing this. But basically, there was a lot of audio issues with uh, pretty much the rest of the recordings for this whole season, including the playoffs, which, spoiler alert, we make the playoffs. So... The only way to salvage the rest of this season is to do this post-game voiceover. So we start off against the Legends with a actually a pretty nice return. And going into this game, one thing I wanted to do was keep that same balanced attack that we had against the Werewolves in the last game. So we get the nice run with Old Faithful on first down. Then we hit a nice slant to Pete Metzelars on second down. And move the sticks and then the very next play hit him with the screen pass to OJ the linemen are out there and we get a nice burst down so if you think about it we went run pass screen pass first three plays we hit him with something different every single time and it was all out of the same formation that's a very important thing uh kind of in real life but especially when playing a football video game that was a really nice throw to Ohana too um, but especially playing a football video game, let this be a lesson. If you can have a scheme where most of your offense is out of one formation, it's the same look every time. Ohana 2 with a nice one-handed catch for the touchdown for us to go up 7-0 right away. Um, yeah, couldn't be more happy with how that first drive went, especially against a really good team like this. But yeah, like I was saying, if you can get a scheme where it's all out of the same formation and out of the same look, it's only going to make your offense that much better because your opponent has to essentially keep guessing. They have to look for those really small tells on what play you're running. So we get the nice stop on first down and then second down we get the sack. This game, seriously, the, uh, the unsung heroes for this game was the defensive line. They were getting so much pressure all day, closing up the running lanes and just messing the play up for the legends. So we get the stop on third down. I still don't know how John Elway completed that pass, but we get the third down stop. They punt back to us and now we're back on offense and I wanted to give him something with a little different look. So that's why we brought in the fullback. We run this little outside power on first down and it worked like a charm. Thought of hitting them with it again, but uh, it wasn't, it didn't look good. I didn't like the way the play was lining up. So I audibled into one of my favorite passing plays. I think I've said it before. We get the offside. So, you know, Aaron Rodgers special, chuck it deep and a hot two with a nice catch in traffic. But I think I had said it before that play, it's 50 X speed over. That play is in a lot of on the, blocks just line up beautifully here and OJ is gone but that play is in a lot of formations in this game and it's a lot of fun to run but watching this footage back man the frame rate is driving me absolutely nuts there's the defensive line getting in there again but uh yeah the frame rate is absolutely driving me nuts um that's why I'm so glad that the Resident Evil 4 stuff has been kind of fixed and we're not having any frame rate issues anymore um, unfortunately though for the rest of this season the frame rate will still be bad because I 
made those adjustments that I made with Resident Evil 4 um, after I had recorded this series. So just keep that in mind, guys. Next season, it gets a lot better. I know I said that in the last video. But yeah, we get the signal stealer here. And uh, you can tell the legends really just want to let Barry Sanders run the show. And um, that's going to be, that's the hard thing to stop here. And here I went for the pick and it didn't work out. Dwight Clark just runs into the end zone untouched. So, but then out of luck, we blocked the extra point. So literally nothing is going right for the legends right now. They get that quick three and out. They're getting pushed back. They get a score. You know, they get down 14 nothing. They get a score, and then the extra point is blocked. So, uh, <laughs> nothing is going right, and keeping that pressure is going to be huge. Um, so, we're inside of two minutes in the first half, and I'm greedy, and I want to get points before halftime. So, but with our team, the best way to do it, even though, you know, we only got two yards or one yard off two plays. The best way to do it is through OJ Simpson. And here I kind of like the matchup to Alvin Harper, but it didn't line up at all. So we ended up punting back to him. And this is the big problem. So when you got John Elway throwing to Jerry Rice, it doesn't matter if it's triple covered. It seems like that's almost always going to be completed. So they catch us off sides and they get the big first down. Tim Moody with a nice tackle on Barry Sanders. As good as this team is, Barry Sanders is the big guy that you need to stop on this team. Otherwise, everything else just becomes a nightmare to cover. We get the signal steal here, and I used it on Robinson to try to come down and bait the pick, but it didn't work out, and Elway just threw to the other side. They line up for the field goal. With 10 seconds left, quite frankly, I don't know why they didn't try to push it closer to the end zone and make it a shorter field goal, but hey, what do I know? So here at the end of the first half, I thought of being an absolute mad lad and uh, hit him with the flea flicker, and the only thing we got was sacked out of that. But aside from that, I can't complain about how the first half went. Uh, we're up 14-9. to nine. If you take a look, we have almost three extra minutes of possession time, which for our team is huge. Um, a lot more rushing yards. Um, yeah, let's see if we can keep it up in the second half. And now a quick word from our sponsor. Hey, what's going on, everyone? We're at the new house right now, but that's not really important to what we're doing right now. Are you a caffeine addict just like myself? Are you someone who needs caffeine on a regular basis? But are you tired, literally, of all these big energy companies that just pack all of their energy drinks with sugar so that you crash hard and you get the jitters from it and the only thing to calm all that is to drink another one? Do you need something that's a little longer lasting? Well, man. So I got the product just for you. Guys, today's video is brought to you by Dubby. Dubby is an energy company that makes energy mixes specifically for gamers that are sugar free and all of their caffeine comes from natural vitamins and coffee fruit extract. So you avoid crash and you avoid jitter so that you can stay focused on whatever you're doing, whether you're at work, whether you're at the gym, whether you're gaming, whatever you're doing in your life, Dubby has got you covered. Now they have all these awesome energy mixes here. I got five different flavors right here. My two favorites, ironically, are the ones on the top. Beach and Peach and Dragonade. I promise y'all, Beach and Peach, it tastes just like peach rings. Remember that, remember that candy, the, the peach rings? Except it's sugar-free. Dragonade is like one of the best strawberry lemonades I've ever had with a little hint of dragon fruit with it. But they have these awesome flavors too, such as Calio Cream, it's like a mango, what is it listed as? Mango Orange Creamsicle, this is actually one of their new flavors that just came out. Galaxy Grenade, this is one of their more popular ones. Passion Joy Tea, if you want more of just a sweet tea type of flavor. Now I know what you guys are thinking, well he's talking about all these five flavors, but I clearly see six of them. And you're probably talking about this little guy right here. He's just a little guy. This is their Monkey Madness Hydration Booster. And this is great for all you sweats out there who play nothing but Fortnite or Warzone all day and don't get any sunlight. It's also really good for someone like me who's very active and takes hydration very seriously. If you guys use the link in the description, I highly recommend getting one of their starter kits just to try it out. You'll get one of these shaker bottles. I actually took the little 
shaker thing out so that it wouldn't rattle all around while I'm telling you guys about how awesome Dubby is. They'll give you one of these bottles and then they'll give you two singular packets of one of their flavors each so that you can try out a couple different flavors. That's actually how I got Beach and Peach and Dragonade to begin with. So it's a great way to just try out something to see if you like it or not and odds are you probably will because these flavors are delicious and it does have a lot of long-lasting energy. Now if you're also someone who not only likes product but likes to support a company by merch, I highly recommend checking out Dubby's merch line because they have a lot of t-shirts, flags, and hats, everything, especially for their new War on Big Energy line. If you want to join the Dubby Army today, I highly recommend checking out their war on big energy line because just like me and probably you too they're tired of all these big energy companies and they want to put an end to it they want to have good long sustainable energy mixes become the norm instead of those ones you get at gas stations a lot once again use the link in the description and check out w today use promo code cdg10 at checkout to get 10 percent off of your order thank you once again to w for sponsoring the channel and sponsoring the video and now Back to the video. Start of the second half, we're on defense. And to me, the big thing now is just don't let them get that quick response and don't let them get back into the game. Like, don't let them take the lead here. Almost get an interception from Tim Moody. Uh, John Elway testing my users, which uh, sometimes is a good idea, sometimes isn't. Sometimes I get good users, but, and then here, Honestly, knowing how the first half went, I thought that was going to be completed to Jerry Rice. But it wasn't, so we get the quick three and out, and we're back on offense. And now the idea here is just keep, keep the defense on the field and take away time. One thing that you just saw right there, a big thing that we were able to get a lot was... Um, it was always LC Greenwood, too, to jump off sides and... You know, like I said earlier, we had someone jump off sides and we hit him with the Aaron Rodgers special, chuck it deep. Ronnie Law picks it off, but because of the penalty, it ended up not mattering because we got the ball back anyway. So with that fresh set of downs, we want to make him pay for it. Now their run defense was really good for most of the game. Uh, we had to keep coming up with ways to move the ball and right there it clearly wasn't and looking back looking back at this game quite frankly I don't know why oh that oh that irritated me it hit a Hanatu right in the hands and he just drops it um, there we get Jerry Rice wide open which is something we do not want um, but yeah as I was saying watching this film back one thing I wish I could have done more was this run right up the middle. That's where our strength is. And we even had the signal stealer there too. And Jerry Rice gets wide open and now we're down too. But yeah, like I said, we keep running to the outside when the strength of our team really is right up the middle. So I call the audible and run right up the, right up the middle and Look at that. OJ gets a really nice run on first down for about like, I don't know, 20 yards or something like that. Um, but I'm hard headed. I'm hard headed. I keep running Old Faithful. I mean, it kind of works, but, you know, I have to do a lot extra just to make it work. Hit him with the play action here, and I really, really rushed the throw. Um, I should have let it develop more. I had the time for it. I don't know if I just panicked or something, but third and four with the way our team is built you know those third and shorts third and mediums with the way our line is and with us having OJ Simpson we should be able to pick that up nine times out of ten we hit a nice play to OJ in the passing game on first down and then we hit him with a rollout to Hahana to just keep hitting them with different things different looks you know, that's why all of a sudden we're running stuff out of shotgun. And I tried the shovel pass here. A lot of times that does work, but that's one of the few times where it didn't work. We didn't get anything. But here we get LC Greenwood jump offsides again. So, you know, go for the kill shot. Go for the touchdown. Doesn't matter if you get it or not because you get a free play. And like I said earlier, we got a third and one. 
with our offensive line, we should be able to just run right up the middle and pick that up almost every single time. I had talked earlier about <clears throat> our defensive line doing a great job of messing the play up. Well, theirs did an awesome job too, especially in the run game. And just like with us having to shut down Barry Sanders, if the legends could shut down OJ, then it was going to be really tough. And on third and 13, we go for the end zone and Doris ends up getting open for the touchdown to take the lead with less than two minutes. So now it is on our defense to make the stop and finish this game and finish the upset too. And it's a great way to start by getting the signal stealer. Uh, Elway must have called an audible because whoever he threw to was actually supposed to be running a crossing route. But then it got changed into an out. And you can, if you look back at that play, and you'll see it probably a few more times as we get the signal stealer here, I believe. Oh, no, we didn't. Um, but you can see that line just keeps getting in his face. And it keeps taking away the passing lanes and everything. And that made everything so much easier. But, and there I thought we were going to get an interception. I'm also greedy and always, always want interceptions. We get another signal stealer here. And um, I changed the look, but I don't think I actually changed the play. And if we can do that and just make him, if we can force him to just dump it off and we can make the tackle inbounds, I'm okay with that. We get back-to-back -back signal stealers, third and five, keeping the same look. And Elway threw it right as I left that route and I don't even know why I left it I had nothing else to cover but we get to a fourth and two we've got to make this stop here to finish off the game Elway back to pass and the defensive line messes the play up once again turnover on downs we get one first down and this game is over but the legends are a really good team and they have a really good defense with a really good defensive line but that time it didn't work you know, we get the easy first down. Stupidly, OJ gets tackled out of bounds, but that's beside the point. We tried Old Faithful one more time, and their defense is really, really good, and it didn't work. So uh, now we have a second and five. We run right up the middle just to gain more easy yards. You just need to get one yard, and well, the game's already over, but this just completely sealed it especially as time ran out and we finished the upset 21 to 16 i think we really made a stake for us being one of the best teams in the league if you take a look at these final stats the time of possession was huge rushing yards was a massive difference and yeah let's get back to the original recording all right guys well that was huge i think with that we made a statement that we are the best team in the league we have the same number of wins as the best team, most talented teams in the league. But I mean, that tie, actually, how does that work? Either way, the fact that we just went into Los Angeles and beat them, I think we made a statement there that we are the best team in the league. And actually, ooh, we get, we get a stretch where the schedule gets pretty easy after that. So let's go ahead and sit into next week and just see what we're dealing with. We're playing the Arizona, is it the Arizona Scorpions? Let's check out league standings. 7-1, 7-2. Federals are 7-3. Oh, okay, no. So the Cyclones and the Americans are actually the, they have a better win-loss record. Ooh. Do we play either one of those? American Cyclones? No, we don't. Okay. Well, how about league leaders? Len Dawson only with 73 completions. Again, take that with a grain of salt. You know, the uh, uh, with the five minute quarters and everyone else is playing the 12. Yeah, take that with a grain of salt. Rushing yards, here we go. Barry Sanders still number one. OJ still number two. And OJ is only behind, is only behind by less than 100 yards. Much higher average, though. Has the highest average per carry in the league. Uh, touchdowns. Second behind Barry Sanders. 
He had a 98 yard run. That's crazy. Okay. So now, now we really need to make a statement and keep winning games to just make our case for the best team in the Pacific Conference. Um, next week, we got the Arizona Scorpions. If you guys are excited to see the next game and you want to stay up to date, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications. If you like this video, if you liked all the weird noises I made and all that stuff, let me know by leaving a like and comment down below. If you have any uh, bit of feedback or if you have any bit of ideas for future teams, if maybe you just want to see a specific player on a team or you have a whole idea for a team, let me know in the comments section down below. And if you guys, if this is your first time seeing this team and you want to stay up to date, like I said in the beginning of the video, check the playlist in the description. I have a playlist for all the games uh, that have, or all the videos even, uh, that have happened so far. So until next time, you guys, I'm Simba Does Music, and I'll see you guys later.